The circuit construction kit allows us to create virtual circuits. Just like in a real world circuit, we'll need a power source, so here's our battery. We can drag out wires and connect them to the ends of the battery. And remember to keep your circuit tidy and organized using the same kind of configurations that we've used when drawing circuits with schematics and also when building in snap circuits. Let's drag out a light bulb. And now, let's connect that light bulb with wires. And it shines. We can pull out a voltmeter and use that voltmeter to make some measurements. So for instance, we can go across the ends of the battery. Okay. We see that this is a 9 volt battery. You can see the voltage drop across any two points. It's very close to 9 volts across the light bulb itself, but you can see there's a slight difference. That's due to the slight resistance within the light bulb. Okay. And you can make any measurements you like around the circuit. Now, Another thing we can do, though, is we can put this on pause for a moment. And we can control click on one of the wires, remove the wire, and insert a resistor. So let's insert a resistor. And I'll just attach the wire here. Press play again. The light bulb still lights. However, it's a bit dimmer. So again, let's use our voltmeter. Still a 9 volt drop across the battery. But if we measure across the resistor, we'll see that there's four and a half volt drop across that resistor. So there's four and a half volts that the resistor is basically cutting out and that don't reach the light bulb. The remaining four and a half volts, though, reach the light bulb. And that's why we see it's a little dimmer. We can also make some different measurements. Notice that if I control click on the resistor, I'm going to switch these for a moment so that you read it as positive, not negative. Changing the resistance, we bring up this little dialog box and we can raise the resistance or increase the resistance on that resistor. You'll notice an increased voltage drop across the resistor by looking at the voltmeter. Raise it much higher. Okay. And you'll notice that as I raise that resistance, the voltage drop across the resistor increases and the brightness of the light bulb decreases. If I lower that resistance, minimize it, I decrease the resistance as read across the resistor by using the voltmeter and I brighten the light bulb because I allow more of that power through. You can also use your um, uh, voltmeter tools in order to measure the voltage across the light bulb. So again, low resistance on the resistor, but if I increase the resistance on the resistor, I'm causing less voltage to be read across the light bulb. As I lower the resistance on the resistor, now I've got more voltage across that light bulb and, of course, increased brightness. So play with these tools and also make sure you check out the grab bag. There's some crazy stuff that you can put into your circuit, a dollar bill, a paper clip, penny eraser, pencil lead, a hand, even a dog looks rather like a beagle, which I have. And you can replace a wire in your circuit by control clicking on it and pull out one of these objects instead and use that um, in, your, in your circuit. There's a paper clip. Second paper clip. Okay. You can connect all those up. And see if your circuit still runs. Make sure, though, that they connect. All right. The circuit runs, is operational. The light bulb lights. Obviously, that means that those paper clips are conductive material. They function as wires. But try some of these other ones and see what you get. Good luck. Enjoy tinkering. And make sure you also make use of the voltmeter to examine the numerical values of the voltage drops across the resistors and the resulting voltage drops across the light bulb. You can also play with some additional tools in here, uh, including a switch. Have fun!